Hello everyone, uh, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this uh, old video you're gonna find a two brief uh, readings which are career and relationship to your representative star sign that refers to the week 13th to 18th of July 2020 and uh, as usual if you do want a personal reading you can check out the description down below and there you're gonna find a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such and another thing is that I have um, made the tarot class the tarot class a flash sale but I never announced it to you so you who are following me on YouTube you never knew about that it's 30% off and in order to get to this uh, to this sale uh, you have to message me on my uh, Facebook page and I'm gonna sort you out from there so uh, with uh, that being said, the sale is uh, on for one more week. And with that being said, laid back and enjoy the show. All right, so uh, let's have a look what Sagittarius are to face into the upcoming week in terms of their love and career. So uh, what we're gonna start with, it is uh, the, uh, the career reading. So let me shuffle the cards really well, guys, and uh, see what you are to art to experience. Now, our first one here is the Four of Pentacles, very, very promising start, followed by uh, the Two of Pentacles. Moving next, we do have the, pay, um, the Page of Pentacles. <laughs> and the last one here, that is going to be the Ace of uh, Wands. Wow, I mean, I'm, I'm genuinely jealous to you. Uh, or envious, I would say, uh, Sagittarius, my god. So, uh, the cards again, the Four of Pentacles, the uh, Two of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, and the last one here, that is going to be the Ace of Wands. So that is a week where you literally are to uh, ensure a secured future for yourself and for your career, needless to say, that is a fantastic reading for those who does have a job, right? I mean, you're going to ensure your place in the job that you're working at. Uh, on top of that, uh, many shenanigans that you're facing in the job itself are simply going to disappear. They are no longer be relevant. They are no longer going to take place in your job in general. And with the Page of Pentacles there, that also speaks for some kind of a cooperation with a person who is pretty much dedicated to to your development well not directly what i mean is that they don't care if you uh if you grow or not it's just they are dedicated to the development of the project you're working at or, or over the work that you are conducting and by the work growing you are growing with the work as well so that is someone that you both are going to grow or in other words your devotion is their devotion as well and uh, that itself uh, by the end is going to consolidate your uh, your deeds in a sense of that uh, your projects deals whatever you're working on depending on what your what your line of work is are going to be pretty certain pretty secure uh, your place at your job is going to be pretty certain pretty secure as well in regards to those deeds and so what happens here at the end is with the ace of uh, wands uh, that will allow you to start thinking of a new enterprises which are to be quite gaining for enterprises now what i do suspect here happens is that you may start thinking of a new line of work that is going to be uh continuous uh, um simultaneous simultaneous i'm sorry so it's going to be a simultaneous to the current line of work you do have so it's kind of like a tra transforming hobby into business doing some private jobs here and there that is because you are going to have the time and that that will be only mean that you are going to have the time okay so th that will be within the resources you do have but the real reason why would why would want to do it it is because you are to discover some talents skills or knowledge that you are not cashing in currently on okay and you would want to uh, add it as a supplement to your financial status if you will now those that are looking for a job the only thing that i can tell you it is that you do have a a skill on demand right now okay throughout this particular week and you may very well find a job that demands this skill I, uh, you may not be very confident though, as a matter of fact, 
you may think that these people hired you and they made grave mistakes. So th this is how unconfident you are going to be in yourself. But you are going to quickly or rather like a very, very quickly get the hang of it. So, uh, but the only way you get the job is that if you do search that job. Now, remember in Tarot, only the fool is granted to you. Now, here with the Ace of Wands, yeah, while well, that promises you a new gaining for enterprise, you got to find it. And you can only find when you start searching. So, should you be jobless, start applying for work? And does this play the skill that you have most practiced at? Okay, just, just emphasize on it and that skill is going to be high in demand. You are a plumber, emphasize that you are a great plumber. You are a painter, extra, uh, emphasize that you are a great painter. You do have an exceptional, um, how do you call it? Not communicational, but social skills. Well, emphasize on that. And like I said, that skill is going to be very, very high in demand. And uh, somebody is going to uh, spot you, basically. I mean, they, you are going to make an impression to that person, Page of Pentacles, that will see your devotion, that it is their devotion as well. It could be that, you know, a newly formed department into a certain company needs people like you, and they are hungry for, for people like likewise you with the skill that you do have to offer, and they are to give you a, a chance. So that was in terms of your career as Sagittarius. Now let's have a look what your relationship life looks like throughout this week. Right, so the first one here is going to be Two of Pentacles, followed by the Four card. Moving next, uh, that is going to be the uh, Chariot card. And the last one we do have, well, that is the Ten of Swords, my God. <laughs> oh my God, that's such a contradictive kind of reading, to be honest. So on one half, again, the cards, all right, before we go, before we dive into this mess, uh, we do have the Two of Pentacles, uh, the Four, the Chariot, and the Ten of Swords, all right, so those four, and uh, those four, yeah, you can see them. All right, so uh, first of all, those cards here are pointing that that week does not relate into anybody new, all right, that is pretty clear having the Four into this position. And uh, with the two of uh, with the two of Pentacles at the very very first position, uh, that card points that you, uh, if you are unhappy of your relationship life, that is it because you are clinging into I outdated concepts. Either those concepts could be a criteria of yours, or those concepts could be inability of you to change your opinion of something. For example, to forgive your wife for a something she did, right? And uh, within this uh, week, you are going to find the strength to do it, okay? To change your concepts in general. Or, um, another word, or placed in another, or put into another word, that is where you do become more adaptable to the, uh, to the circumstances, to the situation, and in generally to the, to the environment that the relationship is, uh, is adopted. Because make no mistake, your relationship surroundings, be that you are a in relationship or not, they have changed. And you still are keeping on certain concepts that have been valid for the start of that relationship or for the start of you looking for love, but they are not valid any longer, okay? And you have to think of very carefully what kind of, um, what kind of impressions you are keeping which are outdated and which are holding you back from finding the love you need or from um, a growing in term of your relationship. And again, despite the odds uh, throughout the week, you do have the strength to overcome them. That is very clear here with the chariot card that we do have into the third position. 
but it's very conditional car, all right? In order for you to do so, you have to be pretty determined that you, despite the circumstances, you are gonna save your relationship. Now, despite the circumstances, you're gonna find love and so on. So giving up, it's not an option available if you do wanna find yourself happy at the end of the day. Uh, and that leads us to the Ten of Swords at the end. And the Ten of Swords in this case plays a role of some kind of a, a, a threshold that you are to traverse one way or another. Uh, and I'd like to believe that this threshold is going to be personal self-esteem where you definitively uh, kind of establish the opinion that no matter what, you are going to do what it takes to get yourself for example, in a relationship or to fix your relationship, no matter what, whatever it takes. Because the Ten of Swords here does not play that devastating uh, interpretation where things are broken and, you know, you have been betrayed, as many books are saying. No, no, no. Here, the Ten of Swords only speaks of that some really radical and, and irreversible actions are required. And there is no more irreversible action than you succumbing to the situation and understanding that your concepts are wrong, okay? And you need to adopt the new concepts and that changes your perspective, changes your standpoint, changes the environment that you are finding yourself at relationship-wise, which will allow you to find a new suitors, for example, if you are struggling finding any, uh, it will allow you to see a new ways how to uh, fix your current relationship or a marriage should you experience any stagnation there or deterioration and should help and will help you to grow in a, a happy established relationship should you have such. But it does require you your understanding of the things have changed and you have to change as the thing changes as well. I'm not gonna say it because it's a bit cynical. We do have a parable here, uh, but I will say it that way. Um, I, a new brothel cannot be established with the old personnel, okay? It's just you need to hire a new personnel, you know what I mean. And uh, yeah, pretty much that is as far as your relationship experience goes throughout uh, this week. Uh, one last thought here, because I don't think I made it clear, is that if you think if you have a doubt, for example, should I try to fix my relationship or should I go for a new one? Well, for, at least for the duration of this week, the answer to that is clear. You should try to fix it, okay? So that being said, uh, this was your uh, relationship re reading for the week and uh, that concludes the video. Thank you so much for watching and um, hopefully we are going to see each other uh, next time. Until then. Bye.